Hi everyone, it's Angus here. Um, I just wanted to show you um, what I call a bit of a copycat trade. Um, a stock that I hold at the moment is LXU, and it's just been going, you know, absolutely bananas. It's gone through the roof, and you can sort of see that, um, you know, when I first started talking about this, hopefully this video works from multiple tabs, but you can see here, you know, LXU, uh, it's up, you know, 360% over the last 12 months. It's been going up sort of nice and steadily, but in the last month, it's just gone ballistic. And I sort of first started talking about this stock in this video back here, you know, where I talked about, you know, how to find and trade the best setups globally with TradingView. Um, if I click on that video, and I think it's probably around, let me just uh, mute the sound. It's probably around the halfway mark, I think. Um, LXU. And so you can see I started talking about it, you know, that's roughly about the, you know, 11 minute 20 mark. You know, I sort of spotted it here and it looked like it was, you know, starting to break up. So I think that's um, November, let's say November the 17th-ish. So let me just get rid of this chart again. And so you can see if I go back here, you know, roughly November, you know, 17th-ish. So I must have been talking about, you know, this sort of period somewhere through here. It looked like it was about to break up. It didn't, of course, it went back down. But, you know, I've kept an eye on it and I've, you know, bought it back and, as I said, at the moment, it's just going, you know, gangbusters through the roof. But the RSI now, you know, is so high, you know, the RSI is now getting up around 81, that it's got to be, you know, about to come back down any minute. So, you know, I've got a stop loss that's up, you know, quite high, probably up around this, you know, $15.50 type mark at the moment, just to, you know, try and make sure that I, you know, bank any profit that I do get. But the point of this video is more to say, well, this stock's gone particularly well. Um, is there anything else that's similar that's also perhaps going to go well? Um, you know, it's going to copy, you know, that's another sort of industry trade where it might also start to run um, that I might want to keep an eye on. You know, often, often you'll get, you know, an industry if there's one or two stocks that start to, you know, take off and run particularly well, then its nearest competitor, you know, also might take off and start to run. And so I might be too late on this, but I just wanted to sort of show you you know, just another way of, you know, perhaps identifying shares. You know, if you feel like you've missed the run on a particular stock, you might be able to, you know, have another look and see, you know, what else is similar that might be running. So you can see, obviously, earnings occurred here and it must have just taken off. If I have a quick look at what the news was, uh, LXU. So there hasn't really been any recent news since, you know, October last year. So I can ignore that. And so what I do to find similar stocks is I go down to uh, this sort of, link here you know lsb industries i click on that it takes me back to here and you know just for fun i can also see you know who else has been posting about a particular stock so you know jay mallow i hope you bought and um you know hope you also did well off it and what i do is i go up to here and see how this is um your categories and subcategories you know your industries and sectors and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to chemicals agricultural so i'll click on that and I've now got a list of all the stocks that are in that same category. And what I then do is I go to performance and I'll do a couple of things. Like what I'll do is I'll say, let's sort by three month performance. And you can see LXU is right at the top up here. And so then there's this mosaic company. So I'm gonna open him in a new tab, open link a new tab, UAN, open link a new tab, CF, open link a new tab, and ICL, open link a new tab, and NTR, open link a new tab. And I'm not really doing anything other than just saying, well, these are, let's say, the top five or six in that particular category that seem to be doing particularly well. And then I'll go sort by one month. And so LXU is still up there for one month. So I know I've got Moss open. I know I've got ICL open. I know I haven't got LitM open. So I'm going to open up LitM. Um, NTR I've got open and SQM. I don't think I have open. Just looking at my tab. So I'll open up that one. And then I might go one week change. And so BioX is, you know, sort of storming through at the moment. You know, that was obviously, you know, it was probably up that amount yesterday. Um, but it hasn't really done much before. But I'll have a look at it anyway, just for fun. LXU. Uh, I don't, do I have, well, that was the one I'm obviously trading. So, of course, I've got that one open. RKDA. So I don't have him open. I'm just going to open and have a look. But I'm kind of looking for the one, see how, you know, all the way through here, it's green. So, you know, uh, you know it's just been green all the way along, green all the way along, you know, you know, green all the way along. So now that I've got, let's say, four or five in a similar sector open, what I'll do is I'll close this one. Now, I can go down the bottom of this one. I know that this is a, um, 
you know, agricultural mining, you know, chemical products industry. So it's, you know, basically producing chemical products for agriculture, mining, industrial markets. I'm going to look to see if there's anything similar in these ones that I've got open. So again, you can see a great chart. It's just taken off through the roof. So again, I might be too late on this one, but if I'd seen it before and seen it had been trending up nicely, I, I might have, you know, tried to enter that one sooner. I don't think I have this. That's not one that I currently hold. Um, and so let's have a closer look at it. So see more in advanced chart. Let's have a read about what it does. Um, production marketing. So again, see how it's one of these, you know, chemical companies, um, you know, phosphates, fertilizer, you know, feed. So that's, you know, quite interesting. So let's have a look at its chart. So again, you can see, you know, earnings and it's rocketed. So I kind of feel like, again, I'm too late on that one. It, it's not as aggressive as the previous one, um, but I just feel that, you know, I've, I've probably missed the boat on that one, unfortunately. So, you know, it's not a not a trade I probably want to take, but I might do something where I might right-click on this uh, RSI and I might say add an alert on the RSI when it crosses back to something like 65, just where it might be a bit more reasonable value. So I'll go create, and so that way I never have to look at this again until I get an alert that says... Um, you know, it might, um, you know, might be back at a, a bit better value area. But, you know, this would have been a great trade. If I'd seen this one, you know, at the same time, this one had taken off and had a better look, you know, I might have been able to jump on it and, you know, you know, have that sort of copycat type trade. So let's get rid of him. And so again, beautiful left to right, CVR partners, what do they do? What's it up? It's up 346% over 12 months. So it hasn't been battered too much by, you know, the whole Ukraine situation. And, you know, the market sort of reset before that. So, you know, let's have a quick look. So strong sort of technical indicators. Again, you know, nitrogen fertilizer business. So, you know, ammonia, ammonia nitrate fertilizers. So looking at this one, I'm, I'm interested because it hasn't, you know, sort of gone through the roof yet. So you can see here the RSI is still around here. So I'm going to create a new watch list and go create new list and say, um, oh, this is called AAA Prospects or something. Go save. And so I like the look of this one. Yeah, absolutely not a trade recommendation. Definitely not saying it's something you should get on. I'm just trying to show you how you might be able to find similar trades. But you can see it's basically gone up 1% yesterday. Um, or you know, in, in you know, the overnight trade in the US. But see how the um the sort of histogram on the MACD is starting to you know move into that sort of green territory. You can see that the um faster moving MACD is you know crossing over the you know, the slower sort of signal line, you know, so it looks like it's about to go up. And we know that when it sort of crosses up, you know, it's likely that the stock might, you know, start to move up. You know, it might it might sort of test this resistance area. You can say, you know, this is probably a bit of a support and resistance area. You know, if I drew a little line across, some people like these lines. Um, so you can see how it sort of touched there, pulled back, touched there, pulled back. And this is kind of its third attempt to get through it. It's touched it, it's got through it, but it's pulled back. So I would place a buy order. You know, the price is currently $107.69. So the way that I would trade is I'd say, I'm going to put a stop order. So if it goes back up to, let's say, $108.40, I'm just saying if it goes a bit above this candle here, it gets back off that line, it starts to look like it's going up. You know, it's obviously had earnings. The earnings has been quite reasonable. You know, the, the sort of, you know, it's uncertainty in the market because the Ukraine situation might have had this pullback, but it started to recover since then. So this is a trade that I will, you know, keep a very close eye on. So I'm going to hit Alt W, which moves it across to my watch list. Let's go check how much time I've got left. Oh, it's only nine minutes. That's that's good. So this is one that I like to look of. So absolutely do your own due diligence, do your own research. Um, all I'm trying to suggest is that you can see that the two previous stocks that we've looked at that are in this same sort of space have both, you know, really taken off quite strongly. This one might still have that opportunity. You can see it does it does allow its RSI to get quite high, similar to the other two. So the RSI on that one is about 86. The RSI on that point there is about, um, what's that one say, 83.887. I'm just looking at this value over here on the left. And so you can see that you know it's gone up to there, it's pulled back, it's gone up to there, it's had a pullback. And at this stage here, you know, it hasn't gone up to that, you know, outrageous area yet. So, you know, it's something that it's just um you know, it's interesting. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting looking stock at this stage. Um, what else can I throw at it? I could put a, you know, twenty day moving average. You know, so again, it's, you know, it's sort of honouring that fairly well throughout the life cycle of this stock. So it's one that I'm interested in. 
Right, let's get rid of him now. But he is in my watch list, so don't forget that he's up here in AAA prospects. So, again, similar, you know, left to right, great slope, uh, only 76% for the year. Remember, these other ones were, you know, a couple of hundred percent. Uh, what's he do? So, manufacture distribution, nitrogen fertilizer, operates nitrogen plants, blah, 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 you know, ammonia, similar sort of area again. Uh, has anyone been clever enough to get on it? APQ was talking about it. He was saying go long, you know, um, at the start of last month. So good on him. Hope he did well. Um, you know, again, you know, this guy here is also saying, you know, it's it's one to watch. So let's have a quick look at the full chart. It's a bit sort of more volatile, a bit more sort of lumpy as it's going through. Um, again, you can sort of see that it does this thing where it'll go up to, uh, what's that value there, 77 you know, 81 before pulling back, 76 before pulling back, 76 before pulling back. And so at the moment, you know, we're down here. So that might have a little bit more room to run. You know, obviously it's had earnings, um, had a bit of a pullback because of the war situation, and it seems to be going up. You know, that would be interesting to throw a linear aggression channel on it. What tools do I have? I never know which one linear aggression is hidden under. It's hidden under one of these little suckers. Uh, nope. Nah, parallel channel regression trend. Uh, let's try parallel channel. So let's say the start of the trend was somewhere down here. The top of the trend is up here. Let's move this down here. Let's put it sort of back in the middle. Okay, you better let me move you a little sucker. The maps must be dragging you up here. Uh, so you can see it's sort of passing through that one, that one, that one. You know, it passes through those ones. So that's kind of the channel that it's moving up around in at the moment. Um, you know, it's the sort of start of it. That's the sort of end of it. And so you can see that, you know, if I'm just using this, you know, alone, you know, there's a good chance it'll hopefully get back up to here somewhere. Um, you know, we'll just see. We'll have to play it by ear. But so I'll add him to the list as well. I don't like him quite as much as the other one. Not not for any really good reason, but um, he's definitely still in that space. I just sort of feel that this one's you know a lot more volatile at 74%. And this one's perhaps a little bit less volatile. You know, see how it sort of builds a base, gets up, builds a base. And so I'm kind of hoping that this one's built a base, but I'll certainly keep an eye on it. Right, let's get rid of him. ICL, so again, you know, big run. What does he do? So, you know, strong technical indicators. I'm hoping this video is working. Um, engages the manufacturing mineral based products for agriculture, blah, blah, blah. So, same deal. So, let's have a look at the chart. Let's see how far above his RSI he is. So, again, he's just right at the top of that. So, it's not one that I'd want to chase. You know, I feel like, you know, it would have been great around here if I'd had a look at it, especially after earnings and started to see that recovery. You know, it would have been a fantastic opportune time. I just think it's too, you know, it's gone too far for me. So same deal, right click, go add alert on RSI. If RSI gets back to something like 65, let me know. Otherwise, I won't look at you again. Again, crazy, you know, you can see how this whole freaking little, you know, market sector's just gone bananas. You know, very strong. crazy through the top too much too expensive at the moment for me so right click add alert tell me when it gets back to something a bit more reasonable 65 create you can do this whether it's you know you can say you know when it gets back to a decent price whatever you want to put on it ntr again gone nuts see more on advanced chart on bananas you know we said like everything we should have got in here before you can see i've actually already got an alert on this one that you know to say you know let me know when the rsi is back around that 65 mark so i don't need to do anything for that one lit m so he's he's gone the opposite way so he's actually a long way down from where he was hmm. so it must have been a relatively new listing what does he do um, exploration stage, so x-rays from stage mining, lithium exploration. So he's not really in that sort of same fertilizer, chemical type business. But early days. It's not not one, you know, not when you're seeing these other ones. I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily take a gamble on that. Uh, SQM, 
Again, probably a bit too lumpy for me. Strong buy, same sort of space, but in Chile. Uh, see more advanced chart. It's got earnings tomorrow. So remember how some of these ones, after they hit earnings, they just went bananas. So it's only up 21% over that period, so one year. So if I'm trying to decide between do I want to invest in this one or you know something like this one, you know, I'd take this one every day because it's had that long-term, nice, steady consistency. You know, this one... You know, it's, it's rocketed up, you know, it's all over the place. But um, I just sort of look at this and I think, hmm, it's just a bit too all over the place for not much gain so far. So to me, I just don't like the, the sort of look of him. BioX, better check the time, 15 minutes. You can only make 20 minutes worth of videos on these. So BioSeries Crop Solution Corp, um, he's up 57% for the year. He's up 11% yesterday. So big, big run yesterday. Um, sort of a neutral neutral sort of indicator. Um, provision of crop productivity, seeds, seal trade, fertilizer, so same sort of space as the others that we've looked at. Let's go see more. Close that one off. Right, so he's been pretty flat. He hasn't done much. So you could say that, you know, he sort of trades, if I, you know, drew a couple of magic lines, I sort of said, well, pretend we sort of start looking at him here. And uh, let's have another sort of, I guess, marker up around here. So, and then maybe even one somewhere around here. So he seems to sort of trade, you know, in that range there. And then if he does break out of that range, he might get as high as, you know, up, up here. And so what's that sort of risk reward? So if I said, well, he's here now. And so if he gets through there, well, there's roughly 12% in that. But if he gets through there, then there's roughly, you know, 26% in that. And so it's just that, you know, he's had this sort of really big upward movement here and, you know, maybe that's got to, you know, have a bit of a pullback, see how he's sort of come up, hit resistance, gone back down, come up. And so is he going to come back up or is he going to hit resistance and, you know, keep going back down? So, again, it's not one that I'd really be that interested in sort of risking my money on compared to these two. But, you know, you never know. that You know, if he broke through here, you could say, let's set an alert to say, I'm going to say if he makes it up to... I don't know, 13 bucks. So let's go right click, add alert. If he makes it up to say $13, you know, send me a message. So I'll completely forget about this one until, um, you know, until it uh, you know, sends me a message to say, yep, he's got up there. You know, RSI indicates there's still some value. Looks like the histogram's about to start turning green. Looks about the, you know, MACD's about to cross the signal line. So that might move up. Um, so they, you know, again, earnings, he was kind of okay on earnings, got smacked by the war. Might be about to recover, you never know. But anyway, the whole point of this video is more to say if you're trying to, you know, if you identify a particular stock that looks like it's doing well, then have a look at the um, the sector and industry that it's in and see if there might be similar stocks that might be in a, in a position that are also doing well. So, um, you know, you do your own due diligence and, you know, you work out, you might say, well, if this one, you know, might set a stop around 104. But, you know, if he goes up, then I might, you know, be, be part of that action and, you know, hope that he keeps going up. So anyway, just a thought and um, hopefully that might be useful to you. So fingers crossed. Thank you very much for listening as always.